Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a David in Laravel. So here you can see that in my core, if you go to .env file and here you can see my database name is beginner underscore Laravel. And if I go to my PC my admin, here you can see for beginner underscore Laravel, I have some table over here. So I am going to add one more table over here and I am going to show you how you can create table in Laravel step by step. So when you are creating a table in Laravel, you also need to create a model for the table as well. So I'll explain you why you also need to create a model for the table. But first of all, let's go and create a table for this database. So for it, what you need to do is that first of all, we need to open a command prompt in the project directory. So here you can see this is my project. So in order to open a command prompt, we need to say over here CMD, then press enter. And if you want to create a table with model, you need to run this command, which is php artisan. We'll say over here make clone model. And here we are saying model, but we'll also create the migration in order to create the table. So uh, let's say you want to create a table and the table name will be post. So we need to give a capital P O S P. So make sure that the P is capital or the first letter is capital. And after it, you need to give over here minus M. Minus M means migration, okay? And models is models. So, and right now, before you press enter, let me just show you the code. Here, if I go to app, then models, here you can see we have only user.php. And if we go to our database, then migration, there you can see we do not ha have any post table over here, okay? So right now, if we just, let me just show you, if we just press enter over here, you will see a, a migration over here and a model over here. Let me just press enter. And here you can see we have a post model over here and post migration is created over here, you can see. So right now we'll just minimize this and here we'll just directly go to this file create underscore post but let me just show you where is it if you go to database then migration then you will find the post table so we'll go over here and here for this table we need to mention some column name so let me just write some column name let's over here dollar table this arrow sign then we saw over here string so the column name will be let's say title and let's just make it null able null able means it will take null data it means if you do not give any data for this title it will not give you any error so let me just copy this and let me just paste it over here and there so right now here after title we are going to show on here create screenshot and let's say this all will be image so we can use the same time over here for image string but for description, uh, let's say description is too big. Uh, in that case, uh, the string type may give us some issue. So for it, uh, for description, we are going to use long text. So long text will let us upload a lot of data like a few MB as well in the description field. So right now we need to send this. And after that, what we need to do is that we need to mention this title, description, and image field in the post model. So what is the model? If we go to app, then models, and here you can see post.php. So I can just copy this from the user.php from here. So here you can see protected fillable. So I'll just copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. In the post model, and I have over here in the table title, description, and image. So I'm going to show over here, connected trainable, it will be title, then there's description, and this one will be image. So we'll save this, and also just do this part, you are ready to save this migration file in the database. Okay, so for it, in order to have this table in the database, here you can see that if I now refresh, there won't be any post table over here so how we can send the post table in the database so for it we need to run this command which is psp artisan migrate we need to saw here php artisan migrate then press enter so what this will do is that this will migrate the new post table that we just created there you can see created post table so right now we need to refresh over here there you can see there is no post table so right now if we refresh 
and there you can see we have a post table over here and over here you can see as well so right now if i click on post table there you can see we have pidel description and image speed and let me just explain why you need to create model for the post the thing is in laravel whenever you want to like upload some data in the post table or you want to get some data from the table you need to connect that using model so every time we want to get some data we will call our post model and our post model will get the data from the post table okay so that's why you also need to create the model for your table as well so this is how we can create table in laravel i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question or if you face any issue just let me know in the comment section and in the next tutorial we'll see how we can insert data in laravel so we'll insert some data in this post table here you can see title description and image so we'll insert some data in this table so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials